Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you a thrift haul and I actually filmed the thrift haul last week, but I went to the thrift store yesterday and I found this beautiful wicker bassinet that you see behind me. And I definitely wanted to include that in this video, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to share with you everything that I found last week as well. So to start this video, I'm going to share with you everything that I found last week when I was thrifting. And then at the end, I will share with you this wicker bassinet that I found just yesterday at the thrift store. All right, so let's just jump right into the haul. So the first piece I want to share is actually one that I found today. This is a really pretty, super, super soft uh, top. It's from Aerie, I think, and it was six dollars and a half off. It's this navy and white and gray and light blue top, and it does it have some yellow in it too? It does. It has some yellow in it as well, and it's just super soft, like incredibly soft material. One thing that I thought was really fun about it is it almost has like an A-line appearance to it. It also has this really cool frayed detail at the bottom. So it's almost like an unfinished look, but it's like an intentionally unfinished look. And as a new sewer, I'm definitely looking at it and figuring out how I can replicate this look. And um, that's one thing I do a lot when I'm learning, you know, different techniques with sewing, or if I see something that I really like, I'll look at a piece and sort of try to figure out how I could do it myself. But I thought, you know, with jeans and boots, so cute. And this piece is just so, so soft. So this next piece is one that I'm very excited to have. It is from the brand, let's see, it's Mosimo. And it's just like a, just like a, sweatshirt type material, um, but it's more like patterned than that. It's actually sort of like almost like a jersey kind of material where it's kind of bouncy, but it's just a slouchy kind of comfortable piece. I've been looking for stuff like this to wear on, on walks in the morning or late at night or you know walks during the fall. And then I found this top. I could definitely wear this to school. It was six dollars and a half off. It's this really pretty green and I like it because it has a lower cut to the arm and I really like that because it gives it just a different look when you're wearing a sweater or a different you know any type of top I like when it has a unique cut to it and it will probably be like a three-quarter length sleeve on me but I like it I think it's really pretty it has a high low to it and it has a seam down the back which I also think is very pretty. And it was six dollars and half off. I saw it at the thrift store maybe two weeks ago and I wanted to get it but it was seven, no it was eight dollars and I just didn't want to spend that much on it. And then on the day that everything was half off it was still there and so I was like four dollars isn't too bad for this. I love this piece. It is everything, it's amazing. Look at it. It almost feels like a suede material. Like it's a very soft, smooth material, but I mean, come on. I love this and I'm going to wear it. And I think I might change out the buttons because I, th I think the buttons definitely do date it. And of course the shoulder pads as well, but those are easy enough things to change. And I just think it's so cool. I'm really excited that I was able to get this for half off. This top is sort of going to be like the gray one that I shared with you that's sort of just like a, like a comfortable piece to wear on walks. And it was $5 and half off. It's in like a sweatshirt material, but in a very thin sweatshirt material. And I just think it's going to be nice for walks or maybe even yoga. And I just think it's, you know, a pretty simple piece that um, would look nice with athletic pants or jeans. Um, I like having pieces like this that are comfortable but put together pieces that you can wear at home. I think I've shared this in videos before. I am definitely the type to wear pajamas all day if I can. So pieces like this are definitely perfect for looking put together but also being super comfortable at the same time. I like it and it's super stretchy. It's going to be so comfy. I also found this um, perfect, I think the Old Navy calls these like the perfect tees or the perfect tops. And um, it was three dollars and a half off. I've just been looking for long sleeve shirts in different colors. I really like the way this looks. It's a, a nice stretchy material and it's a really pretty blue as you can see. And I thought, you know, for a dollar fifty, I thought that was a great deal for that. And so the last three pieces I want to share with you are going to be some projects. Just 
some pieces that I either want to take in and have them be um, adjusted to fit my size or things that I want to create into completely different pieces. So the first one is this pair of pants. I really loved the black and white pattern and they're sort of like a wide leg pant. Um, on me, because I am shorter, they would probably be full length. I haven't tried them on yet because I want to wash them first. Um, I'm going to see where they actually where they actually fit on me, how long they are on me. And if they're just a little too short, I might shorten them so that they're like a capri length. But if they are a good, like, full long length on me, then I might just keep them as they are. But I just thought that the, the pattern was really fun. And I don't often find things like this at the thrift store that um, I like, you know, and could be a size that worked for me. So this is going to be a project. They were $6 and half off. Then I found two dresses that I want to DIY. And the first one is this denim kind of fabric. It was $4 and half off. And it's nothing fancy, just, you know, um, a tank top and a little bit of a gathered waist. And it probably would be almost floor length on me. And this is, I think this is also homemade, which is another exciting thing for me. But I just love the blank canvas that this is. There are so many things you could do and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And the last thing I found, this piece is really cool. Um, it's the brand Coldwater Creek and I just want to make it into a super elegant evening gown and wear it, I don't know, around the house. I, I really don't know. But it is green, like faux velvet with this lace, like V neck kind of look to it. It has long sleeves and shoulder pads and it has this, you know, seaming in the waist right here. It's kind of hard to see right there. And then it's like floor length. And I want to make it like a beautiful mermaid piece and it's going to be amazing. Put some rhinestones on it and make it an elegant evening gown for 2020. But the green it's kind of hard to tell it's so beautiful i can't wait and it was four dollars and half off so it was only two dollars so i'm really excited about that i think it's going to be a really fun project i hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that i found in the haul last week and to share with you just a little bit more about this wicker bassinet behind me it is absolutely gorgeous i found it actually a few weeks ago at the thrift store and i shared a picture of it on instagram and i absolutely loved it and i hesitated getting it for a couple reasons the first was that it was fifty dollars it was 49.99 and it wasn't half off and i tried to buy things half off whenever I can at the thrift store and so I went back actually a couple more times and the bassinet was still not half off and so I just sort of was waiting and waiting and then um, when I went yesterday it was the first time that the blue tag was 50% off so I was able to pick it up yesterday for only $25 it is beautiful it is such a gorgeous piece it is not small at all i don't know if you can really tell i'm you know sitting in front of it and it's still a little bit taller than me one of the people that works at the store told me that there was a mattress that actually came with the bassinet but that they aren't allowed to sell those so um you know i'll definitely be looking for a mattress at some point for it um but it's just so beautiful i love this detail right here i just think it's really really gorgeous it really goes with the aesthetic that we're looking for that sort of of like boho chic kind of vibe i feel like you don't find these very often at the thrift store or at garage sales and um i just i just absolutely love it so i have been receiving some questions since i posted the pictures of this bassinet and let you guys know that i actually purchased it since i posted these pictures i've received some questions about if i'm pregnant or not so if you've been following my channel for a while you know that in january sean and i actually had a miscarriage um we were pregnant with our first child and we unfortunately miscarried in january and I haven't really been sharing a lot of stuff um, about, you know, looking for baby items or really even thinking that way. And, and honestly, it's because, you know, I used to go and look at the thrift store and I would look at the baby clothes section and, you know, the toys and that kind of stuff. And um, I've just sort of been avoiding those spaces just because it's been making me feel really sad, um, you know, and it's been, you know, difficult for me to do that. And so when I saw this bassinet, I was really really torn one of the reasons i didn't buy it was because of the price and I, I wanted to see if i could get it a little cheaper but another reason i didn't buy it at first was because i just it just felt wrong if that makes sense um it just felt like you know um 
like scary I guess to buy something after having not bought anything for a long time you know for a while I was buying maternity clothes in anticipation of being pregnant I hadn't looked for any maternity clothes at all since we had the miscarriage so when I was thrifting after the miscarriage I would sort of just avoid the maternity section just because it was you know it was making me feel sad and I was it was like a sensitive topic I guess I hesitated to get this because it's sort of like it's scary because it's the thought of moving forward i guess if that makes sense um and, and i didn't wear makeup for a, re a very important reason because i knew i was going to cry but um it was like obviously we won't have that baby um and it's hard it's getting harder i guess now because i was due september 11th and so you know we're getting closer and closer to that time and just thinking about how you know how what would have been going on right now and how pregnant i would have looked and everything um and so um you know buying this was almost like in a sense not letting go of the baby we miscarried but in a sense like just like the first step in starting to move forward and you know like that it's like crying already that baby isn't going to go in this bassinet. But another one will at some point. And unfortunately, that's not right now. And it's just hard. So so I wanted to buy this and I wanted to add it to a future nursery whenever that happens. Um, and I kept on, you know, waiting for the price to go down. And in my head, it was waiting for the price to go down. But I think it was, I know it was more than that um, as to why I was hesitating. But, you know, when it was still there, when it was half off, I was like, okay, this is a sign that it needs to come home. It's like accepting that the baby that we miscarried won't be going in this bassinet. But, you know, bringing something home, purchasing something with the intention of another baby going in the bassinet. But at this time, we're not pregnant. And, um we're just you know trying to get ready and um especially special items like this you know they don't come along very often and so i saw it and i decided that it would be a good piece to add to a future nursery whenever that happens i you know just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about it and just let you know that we'll be preparing for as long as we have to be preparing for until you know it's actually time for us to have you know a baby and um in the meantime, I will be thrifting items for me to wear when I'm pregnant and, you know, maybe some baby clothes if if that happens, you know, like if I see anything that I really like. So right now I'm not thrifting because I'm, you know, expecting a baby this very moment, you know, or pregnant with one right now. Um, but I know at some point we will and I guess I want to be ready. Just, I definitely wanted to share this special piece with you in this thrift haul and just give you a little bit of information about what's going on right now and thank you all so much for your love and support. Um, so now I'm going to jump back into the other thrift haul to end this video out and um, thank you so much and I really, I hope that you love this piece. I think it's really special and it'll be great in a nursery someday. And that's it for part two of the huge thrift haul that I was able to find on July 4th at the 4th of July sale at my local thrift store. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I found. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece was. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!